Hello everyone. Today in this video, we are going to see how to use flow designers to send approval reminder notifications to the approvers. This is an important uh, concept in all, most of the organizations because we don't want to have many stale requests pending for much longer time. So the reminder notifications plays an important role. For this, I have created a simple flow designer uh, flow, which will help you to send uh, two, re two, two reminder notifications. And after the second reminder, uh, email reminder notifications, we are going to wait for a certain time and then we are going to update the record. I, I will uh, walk through the flow which I have created. I will show you the flow. Uh, so this is how it looks. What I have done is I have given a trigger condition as whenever there is an approval record inserted into an approval table with a state as requested the flow will trigger. If a request has like five or six uh, approvers and if there are six approval records created in an approval table for that request, then there will be an individual context for each approval record. I'm going to show you that also. It helps us uh, a lot because then we don't have to write multiple schedule jobs or, or we don't have to create any field on the form to just capture the date timestamp. Here, uh, and, and you know, right, there is a OOB notification triggered um, whenever there is an approval uh, requested for anyone in the system. So what we are going to do is we are going to wait uh, for a specific period of time as soon as the approval record is inserted. After that, we are going to check if still the record is uh, approved or not whether still it is in requested state or approved state or rejected state. If requested, then we will move ahead. Here you can see I'm using a subflow and the subflow says that uh, wait for a specific interval before you go ahead. So here I have, I'm using relative duration right now for this particular demo, I'm using one minute. So one minute after creation of approval record in approval table, we are going to proceed. Here you can see after the one minute of the creation record here, it will go and see if the approval record is still in requested state. If yes, then send email. If no, just go down this route and log uh, in system log. You can just say, okay, the flow is terminated. When you send the first reminder, it's like this first reminder for approving the approval number. It's a simple plain text and the email is going to the approval. Once you send the initial approver, uh, approval email or a reminder email, then we are waiting for another one minute. And this one minute is really uh, uh, important in this demo because I'm going to show you uh, that why we don't need to create any field to hold the timestamp. Because here, if you see, I'm using a uh, relative duration again, wait for one minute after schedule end date time of this step. So if this tape uh, completed its execution at 11, then this tape will wait till 11.01. That is one minute after the, after the completion of this tape. So we, we include one minute buffer. Okay, and I'm going to demo this how it works. After that one minute, we are again going to check if the request is approved or not, or, or the state is still requested, approved or rejected, whatever. If yes, Send a final reminder. If no, then log in system logs. If it is still open, then let's go and send a final reminder like this, same as the initial reminder, only it says final reminder for approving. Once this notification is sent, we are again going to wait for one minute after the schedule end date of this particular 2.2 step. Why we are waiting here is just to allow people to react on the final uh, reminder notifications. We are giving them a buffer to approve or to take some action on that particular email. After this initial one minute, we are just going to update the comments of the record here saying two reminder uh, notifications were sent to a respective person uh, at this, this time, for example. Here you can take whatever actions you want. You can reject the approval. 
you can close the task you can cancel the task whatever you want depending upon your business requirement in my case i am just updating the comments so that end user on portal uh, knows that okay reminder were sent to my managers or reminder were sent to the approvers and still he is not approving the records that is it uh, now let's see how how this actually works so i'm going to create a simple request for standard laptop and i'm going to say that um, testing flow designer approval reminders i'm going to order this i'm going to take the request number so here you can see this particular request item is waiting for department head approvals and now here we have seven approvals as i told you and in start of the flow designer explanation or the flow explanation that each approval will have its own context so i'm going to show you that that own context of the flows created last minute so you can see seven uh, approval record have seven contexts i can uh, open one of it and just to show you how it works let's go to the operator view why i'm showing you this is because i wanted to show you the timestamp specifically here you can see the out of the box um, notification was sent and i need to show you out of the box notification also that um, requested item this this has an approval request so each one of uh, the approval got one notification out of the box notification to approve the request so here we are waiting for one minute and this uh, timer will uh, evaluate to true at this time that is 11 23 uh, let's reload you can see it was executed at 11 uh, 23 and then it went here to check if it is still not approved it evaluated to true then it forwarded an a, a reminder uh, email to respective approver and i am going to show you the reminder email so you can see that first reminder for approving this this uh, record has been sent to each approval each approver and the content is like this it's just a simple uh, static email you can make it more dynamic as per your requirement let's go back to the flow execution now this step is going to execute exactly after one minute of the end time of this particular uh, step that is step one it was completed you can see scheduled end date time was uh, 223 so at 224 we are going to execute the next step and let's wait for it let's complete you can see now it was executed it went again here to see if the approval record is still in requested state if yes then send the final reminder and then again wait for one minute just to allow them a buffer to take an action on that particular approval record if i go to the email logs here you can now see it says final reminder for approving this this record okay and if i go to uh, this ticket conversation widget here after a certain time after the one minute of this that is at 11 25 54 uh, after that time here you will see the comments like this that two approval reminders were sent to the persons this persons and still they have not taken any action on it as i told you that you can take whatever action you want on the task record on the approval record based upon your business requirement if i go to this if i refresh this you can see that this flow is completed and the record was updated if i go to all the contexts you will see that in last minute it's nothing is there but whatever i will show you is complete so all individual contexts are also completed now there is obvious uh, obviously one question right what happens if one person approves still all the other flows will uh, keep sending email email, uh, email reminders uh, answer is no because at each step we are checking what is happening with the 
uh, what is happening with the approval record and the uh, uh, and the task because if you have a logic that you are allowing only one person to approve the record then all other approval records are either marked as no longer required or cancelled or rejected depending upon your uh, your logic you have implemented in the workflow this will work uh, for all the generic uh, approvals like for change uh, if you have approvals for change management if you have approvals for requests if you have custom application and if you have approvals for that still it will work so that was it thanks for watching the video do subscribe to my channel do subscribe to my community articles uh, and keep liking keep posting if you need if you think i need to create more videos according to your requirements just post in the comments and i will try to uh, help you on that thank you